Today, my friends, we are making hearts for our junk journals. So let's use a punch and make some hearts. And we are going to create some beautiful ephemera for our tags and upcoming altered cards projects. I'm so excited. And hello, my friends. Welcome to Where Wendy Travels, Where Wendy Creates. Today, we are working with a brand new punch that we got at Hobby Lobby for half price. And I've got out some papers that we were going to make some tags out of in some beautiful colors. And I thought maybe let's go ahead and punch some hearts. So let's go ahead and play and have fun. Let's see if that looks like that's going to be all the way in there. So let's punch. And, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. That could be a little journaling spot just like there. We can use, okay, let's take a look at our heart. And our heart, oopsie. Sorry about that. Was losing my glue stick. <gasps> look at that perfectly, perfect size heart. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's make some hearts. I am so excited. And we are just going to pop it in here, run it across, make some hearts in our beautiful pink uh, scrapbooking paper. And look how gorgeous that is. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I love that. Okay, so we're keeping our scraps for actually using instead of just for... Um, creating and look at these beautiful hearts we can put in our scrapbooks our junk journals everything else and all we have to do is use a little bit of glue of your choice and we can create some beauties so let's go ahead and use some other um, papers and see what we come up with let's see if we can do two at a time this is card stick stock it's not the thickest card stock but it is kind of kind of thicker one looks shorter than the other so let's make sure the hmm all the way up gotta push a little bit harder <gasps> they're both perfect look at that they're both perfect okay so let's make some hearts all the way across and I am not getting it too close. So again, I can choose to cut these out and have the silhouette of the heart as well. I think that's what you call, right, my friend, silhouette? See if I can fit one more on here. Oh, ran right off the edge on that one, barely. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I am very, very excited. Let's use some of the thicker of the papers here. Oh, look at this color. Okay, and we're just gonna put it in here, run it across, and create beautiful hearts for our junk journals and our papers. Look at that. And then our hearts, and again, we clipped off the last one, so maybe we can put that on a page right on the inside uh, cover of that. But look at these, absolutely perfect, perfect perfection. I am just, oh, loving these. This is so, oh, look at this, my friends. Okay, watch, watch, watch. We can even put them like a little flower on our page or a clover. just like so. What do you think? Maybe put our friends' names in those. It's four of us ladies that are friends. Something like that on a page. I hope you can see that. I think that is absolutely very, very cool. Um, I have some purple and some blue. Let's make some blue and some purple hearts. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And again, we are saving all of these papers. And just look how beautiful this would be, having one paper behind the other on a sheet, maybe not using that color, uh, maybe using like this Christmas background, maybe with a red instead of the blue. Just think how absolutely gorgeous that could look. Oh, let's grab a green one. 
What do you think? Isn't that just really, really cool? And then glue those down, create that into a tag with the writing spaces, have that lined up. Oh, I love that. Okay, so that is gorgeous. And I said we would just make a couple of more and then I will uh, appreciate your time and we will create things out of these hearts and share. Oh, my goodness. I wish you could give me pictures of the hearts or the different punches you use on a regular basis. Or So tell me down in the comments, what do you, uh, what punches do you use on a regular basis? How have you found that they work in your mixed media and paper crafting? And uh, how often do you do you use them? This is great. Okay, let's try maybe the thickest of our, they are all the same size. So try one of these. What do you think? Just three out of that paper. Put that onto a solid background. Let's try it on white so you can see it. What do you think? Isn't that gorgeous? Imagine that in the right colors on a scrapbooking page. I love that. That is just real, real, real nice. Okay, and let's try some red ones to get a little bit of that red feel out of the hearts. And I'm thinking I want to use these for something else, so I'm making them just three without cutting over on the edges. So that is just really exciting. Let's try one of these. Isn't that great? Okay, let's look at all of our hearts. And we have these hearts to just start creating with, start loving, start putting on our altered cards, our junk journals, our sticker books, and they are just so divine. So my friends, you don't have to have stickers. If you have a punch, you can create your own. Just grab a glue stick and have some fun. So thanks for joining me today. I am going to punch out a bunch more of these till I can fill a little bin or a Ziploc baggie. And then we're going to come back in another video and we're going to put these into our junk journals, onto our tags, on our altered cards and create beautiful works of art. Yay! Have a great day, my friends. Today, my friends, we are making hearts for our junk journals. So let's use a punch and make some hearts and we are going to create some beautiful ephemera for our tags and upcoming altered cards projects. I'm so excited.